today i am going to tell you about a most important topic it is nil by mouth before surgery it is also called as npo nil per oral or fasting perioperative fasting what is perioperative fasting as you all know everyone in your family or anybody on this earth he has a risk of surgery any time like anybody can have accident so a few common surgical procedures like appendicectomy hernia hernioplasty and trauma these are common things and many more surgeries which require anesthesia so why am i stressing nbm before surgery is anybody is at risk of surgery or uh, for any surgery it requires anesthesia so for anesthesia it's mandatory that for a elective anesthesia the person should be nil by mouth so what is nil by mouth i have told next who needs nbm any person who is undergoing an elective surgery needs a nil by mouth even emergency surgeries but in emergency we have to see risk benefit ratio and go ahead with the nbm status so what are types of foods which we usually eat is solid food and liquid food the semi solid are also considered in solid so solid food we should be empty stomach before surgery it is 6 hours prior to surgery and uh, clear fluid is 2 hours what is clear fluid clear fluid means the fluid through which you can see on the other side or if you keep a hand beyond beyond that glass of clear fluid it, your hand should be visible that is clear fluid so before surgery 6 hours you should be empty stomach for solid fluid and uh, 2 hours for clear fluid this is for adults and this can vary according to the respective institution but for overall everywhere it is followed 6 hours before surgery you should avoid solids and 2 hours before surgery clear fluids so from local reason the instruction may vary now I told you about NBM status before surgery so why we should be doing nil by mouth khali pet secure and khali potani car and a pet khali hotel in after work so this is a you know this is considered this is a very rough diagram of human body whenever we eat something it will go into the esophagus into stomach and it will go into large intestine it will get absorbed and excreted so this is a solid thing when you eat it will pass like this so this usually takes 6 to 8 hours depending on type of food there is solid oily depending on type of food it takes time 6 hours to cross this stomach and go into the small intestine so if you take a solid fluid it, it goes here and stays here stays here before operation when we give anesthesia if the food is in the stomach J1 pota the cell the the patient is sleepy not cough patient is sleepy so the food which is there in shower will come up and patient may have vomiting so it may land in the this is voice box into the lungs it may land into lungs so it takes 6 hours 6 to 8 hours for solid to pass from stomach to other part of intestine in an average patient average person and clear fluid like water when you drink it will go in the stomach and it will pass by so this takes 2 hours so why we are doing NBM before surgery is if the patient abdomen is full, the stomach is full, and we 
knock him means we give anesthesia and if he omits if he omits so the vomitors will if the patient or person is conscious he will spit it out or vomit it out if he is unconscious this food will go into the lungs if it goes into lungs here there is acid in the stomach this acid will go and affect the lungs and will cause pneumonia it is also called as aspiration pneumonia or mendelson syndrome this was discovered means noticed 100 years back by mendelson very noticed increased death in archer and means cesarean delivery patient that whatever food he had patient is to have they were not empty stomach they used to aspirate and used to die in the very operative way operation chan antar marathi khalela jevan pota jata pachayla 7 te 8 tas pahile jar pachla nahi ani behosh kelo mansala tar jevan bhai rete jar conscious asel tar ulti hoon bhaar jate jar conscious asel tar खाल्लेला जीवन लंग्स मध्ये जाऊन निमोनिया व्हायचा चान्स असते तीन दिस दुटा होटेल होते ते आठ तास बेक होटेल तर पास आउट आलं का आणि पास आगले नंतर नाव बब मंडळ देऊ अनस्थेशा कोटा सो द वन तेल होते वन तेल अगर वरा होते ते इफ मॉब बिग दंतर आव नेति घेतन गेला सो तीन दिस दुटा येदा होगी निमोनिया गो चान्स येतात सॉलिड खाना मतलब घट खाना ये पेट में जाएगा इसको बाहर निकलने के लिए छः घंटा चाहिए अगर हम जब बेहोश करते हैं तो खाना पेट में है तो वो बाहर निक, निकलेगा अगर होश में है तो उल्टी होके बाहर जाएगा लेकिन कुछ हिस्सा एक एक बार छाती में लंग्स में फुफ्फुस में जाने का चांस रहता है सो इधर जाके निमोनिया होने का चांस रहता है सो बी आया किसके लिए और रहता है और वो कुछ और जाता है इसलिए ऑपरेशन करने से पहले छः घंटा खाली पेट रहना है फॉर सॉलिड्स दो घंटा क्लियर फ्लूड्स दो घंटा क्लियर फ्लूड्स के लिए क्यों बोले तो क्लियर फ्लूड्स स्टमक में आता है और चला जाता है वो जाने के लिए दो घंटा चाहिए most of the patients thank you